Morning, everyone. Morning, it's Emily and Alan here. Sorry, I said your name. That's all right. <laughs> Emily and Alan. Well, Alan, Emily, Emily. Alan. Alan. That, that's the guy come to cut the grass. <laughs> Don't judge us. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> right, so uh, yesterday we came on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday we came on. In any other situation, we would cut this and refilm, but that's actually quite funny. Yes, <laughs> we're, we're, and we want this to be as authentic as possible, and that's yeah. kind of one of our many things we like to talk about, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Um, so yesterday you came on to talk about being <laughs> positive. <laughs> Yeah, come on, come on. Right. Yesterday we came on, we wanted to talk about being positive. Um, and actually what we decided to do, we wanted to try and turn this into a bit of a daily vlog for yeah. the moment. Because um, if we're brutally honest, we quite enjoy it. It gives us an opportunity to think about our thoughts. And if we can help anyone else with our thoughts, then that's just a bonus, yeah. agree? And I think one thing I, I, I want to impart when we um, do these little daily vlogs is that there are plenty of people out there doing amazing things, talking about being positive and keeping our pecker up and all that kind of stuff. Mm. And I think actually, as we move ahead with whatever the situation is going to be over the next coming days, weeks, months, actually having some practical knowledge and some practical advice of how we can actually execute the, the plan of what we're going to do and how we're going to change things. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's all right. Did if we, you can hear that, it's really hilarious, but yeah. it's fun. Um, how, how we can change things, and absolutely, let's work on that. Um, and today, um, Alan and I were chatting around, and actually, what well, we... Well, no, we were in, there's built, we were in uh, Green Zebra Business Solutions. They run a Facebook group called Business Made Simple, and there was an online networking session in it uh, on using Zoom yesterday. We'd never been in an online networking before. We felt it really worked, but there was a very big key message from it, and that's what we wanted to talk yeah, about, wasn't and, it? And that is quite simply diversification and how we can adapt, change, and grow our businesses at this time when we're obviously very scared and, and it's okay to be scared about how things change but ultimately doing it in a way that is uh, focused clear and it's going to have longevity to it afterwards what we always say with yellow tuxedo is everything we're talking about this week this month kind of going forward is stuff that actually as yellow tuxedo we tell we, we teach people to do on a daily basis and yeah, looking yeah. at your online strategy looking at what we can move from for the physical world onto online and how we can create different revenue streams doing what you already do but making it an extra, extra way of bringing that money into you. Yeah, and we had some fat. And in yesterday's video, we talked about a friend who was uh, an in school dance mm -hmm. instructor. That's what she loves doing, and how she could take this as an opportunity to diversify. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple of other examples. One, one was a local pub, wasn't yeah. it? So, River, River Inn? The, the Railway Inn. <laughs> the Railway Inn. I had River Island in my head. The Railway Inn in, in uh, Botley is. Um, They've just put out on social media that they are now doing home delivery. You know, this is a pub. They've never done home delivery before. They were, you know, they were, pubs were mentioned in, in Boris's update a couple of days ago. And uh, we all got told to stop going to pubs. And, um, but th there was no kind of substance behind that. But that's okay. These things happen. It is what it is. That's now out there. Um, but what can the pubs do? And, you know, what how the railway in has done this is by going well, we're we're off for home delivery, aren't we? Talking in, in the forum yesterday, in the, in the networking yesterday, and there's a, 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 a florist, and she has her, her oh, well, it can't be as bad. She yeah. has um, homegrown, she has a flower. She won't mind us mentioning, will she? Yeah. Hevercroft Meadow. Hevercroft Meadow. Yeah. And looking at doing um, flower work workshops, she has a, a flower farm, and um, it's the idea maybe potentially can we do delivery to flowers to people's homes and do the online workshops where people well, can I, I thought that was a brilliant idea because I remember you know I'm a child of the 80s and 90s and um, I remember you know flower arranging being one of those kind of hobbies uh, anyone my age will kind of remember that hopefully so this is uh, this is a reimagining of it this is the tutorial is now on video or live live with stream you know questions being asked live how do we do this being able to cater to the world and it might be one of the things she talked about is because she grows her own flowers is she's delivering yeah, them said, yeah. oh did you say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i am listening but i'm still focusing on uh, steve and <laughs> <But, yeah. laughs> um, a few things that i would want to consider moving forward now this is not we're all different our businesses are all different and a lot of you be going but i don't know how i can diversify for example a venue you're, you're let's face it you are going to be shut for the foreseeable future but you're not going to be shut forever. So again, like like we said yesterday, making sure that your brand knowledge, your brand awareness, people are seeing you showing up, you're going to be talking about your offers in the future, all that kind of still works for you. In terms of a product-based business, at this point in time, we're all shooting from the hip a little bit because we're starting to panic. Bear in mind, this has only been this week we've been told that we're going to be sort of closing 
closing everything down and we're already thinking about that loss of income that stress that we can put on our business mm. we are all the same we're in exactly the same boat as you don't get us what, what do you think this is you know let's be <laughs> yeah. brutally honest this is us going we're going out guns blazing yeah. if we're going out let's we, we, increase yeah. our pr we all know? need to make money there is no bones about that we need to make money we need to be able to survive but we're only a week in with that in mind whatever choices you make to diversify your business in the coming weeks and months make sure that they're the right choices and make sure that actually they're sustainable. Now, we, yeah. we, we do have that model where we say, if you don't know what to do, just do something. But at the same time, if you have an opportunity to, I don't know, create a subscription service or to do some online training or to um, work on a different product for your business. Or, or just generally grow your online presence. Absolutely. You know. Ra rather than just going, oh, I'm going to do kind of half-hearted and say, work out the steps you're going to take. So yes, this week is quite scary. Next week is going to be just as scary for you, but if we're going to be in the same boat. Everyone's going to be in the same boat. So just take some stock at the moment. Work out exactly what you can do, what your overheads might be on that, how you're going to actually deliver that service or product in a different way and logically plan it out. And I can't stress that enough because there's no point in creating a random ebook today, writing it off the cuff, writing it and chucking it on Amazon and hoping mm. that's going to be the saviour of your business because that's quite frankly, that's not going to be it because people don't want to be using those products and services at this point. They may do down the line, fantastic if you want to do that, but thinking about what you currently offer, why people are already interacting with you, what your service is now, and just moving that into a different way of, way of delivering that, that's going to be much better for you than creating something completely off the cuff that people aren't necessarily going to buy. Uh, no, ab absolutely spot on. And apology, I wasn't smiling at Emily in that. I'm laughing. I hope you can hear this. We've got Steve mowing our lawn that way. Uh, don't judge us. And we've got Joseph playing with a toy outside the door right here. But that's going to be it as well. We talk about being shiny and, and polished and everything. We're, <coughs> don't cough. We oh, have <laughs> being shiny and polished. But at the same time, you're going to be at home, you're going to have the kids at home. There's going to be an element of the fact that we're going to be kind of working out how we can actually deliver this. If your kids are in shot, and let's face it, ours are in shot a hell of a lot of the time yeah, these days, yeah. roll with it. It's not the end of the world. Ultimately, what you're delivering is more important than who's yeah. in your background. So a couple of, let, let's kind of wrap up there then. A couple of thoughts are, so yeah, what an opportunity. We talked about this yesterday to grow online and diversify your business online. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got, you know, we want to help genuinely. We have our free digital skills, yeah. which you can get to from our website, etc. Uh, we've got loads of videos on our YouTube channel that can be of help. Um, and do get in contact if you want to. And we'd love to hear what you're considering diversifying into, wouldn't we? Yeah. Or, or if you're stumped and, you know, do you know what? If you want to come and have a chat with us, then come and have a chat with us and we'll see what That's we can thing. do. I think we we're all sometimes guilty of the fact that we don't always tell you what we are able to do to help people as well and um we're going to do a post tomorrow on our instagram and grid tomorrow is like explaining exactly what we are about and what we mm. can do to practically help you and we really yeah. do want to help regardless of what situation we're in six weeks six months ago six months ahead right now we're here to help that's it cool thanks very much and have an amazing day bye, bye.